Uh, read this disgusting headline. We got some new details that have emerged. Officer took and shared photos of bloodied Tyree Nichols document says. And this reporting is coming from the Guardian. If what they did was not damn enough. Here we go. So you heard it right. Here are the details. Newly released documents in the case of the fatal beating of Tyree Nichols by Memphis police last month provide a scathing account of what authorities call the blatantly unprofessional. It was more than blatantly unprofessional, but I'm just reading what they said. Conduct of five, you know, the nerve is just say blatantly unprofessional. It was cruel and unusual punishment. It was murder, talking about blatantly unprofessional. Put the put the clip back up, y'all. Y'all know I got to commentate on what the people writing. I can't help my blat- Jack, can you blatantly unprofessional. I mean, that's what you say. Lord, you know, us, 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 just, just a slight slip of judgment. Right, just, mm-hmm. I, I, that, that's, that's all what it you was. Say. You're in a restaurant, and you get the wrong meal or something, or, you're, or the person that's serving you the meal got an attitude or something. That's blatantly right. unprofessional. But to right. say with these officers, you know what? I ain't Catholic, but for the Catholics out there, show me how to do this. Cause I, I know I'm probably not doing it right. But babe, this is what this is coming down to for me. I'm about to adopt every religion up in here. Put it back up, y'all. Put it back up. So blatantly unprofessional conduct of five officers, don't forget the sixth officer, and include new revelations about how one of them took and shared pictures of the bloodied victim. Let's go on and put this man's. Yeah, that's him. Demetrius Haley, an officer that took part in the murder of, of Mr. Nichols, took and sent photos of dying Tyree Nichols. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Something is wrong with these people. They are sick and it doesn't matter what profession they, they were in. Haley and the other officers, they are stripped of their professional certification as law enforcement personnel. Well, should they should have never been police officers in the first place. You're on the duty conduct was unjustly blatant, unprofessional, unbecoming of a sworn officer. That is coming from the Memphis. Here they go again with this. Un- anyway, all right. And per officials, as many as 13 Memphis officers could end up being disciplined. Good. They need to go all the way up to the top. The Memphis police chief has signed each of the five requests to decertify these officers. That's good. Hopefully they will never work in law enforcement again. Hello, somebody on that. Something's wrong with these folks, just period. Now, why does police brutality continue? Because I know y'all got this on your mind, because I do too. Why does police brutality continue to plague departments and communities across the nation? So glad you asked. Possibly because the bar is often so low when it comes to hiring. So beyond the beating, the kicking, the cursing, the pepper spraying, the video of Tyree Nichols' deadly arrest at the hands of young Memphis police officers is just as notable for what's missing. Any experienced supervisor showing up to stop them. You know what? That's a good point. Maybe, just maybe, just maybe that could have saved this young man's life. Absolutely right on that. Trends with the Memphis Police Department. Let's show this chronic shortage of officers, specifically supervisors, increasing numbers of police quitting. The job is stressful as hell. Put aside the 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 what the the debauchery I mean with the the criminal behavior because this ain't just unprofessional it's criminal behavior what they did let's put that aside and struggling to bring in qualified recruits and with these issues the hiring process is more relaxed let's put this up the department offered new recruits fifteen thousand dollars signing bonuses and ten thousand dollar relocation allowances while phasing out requirements did, did y'all see that are you listening to me if you're just listening to my wonderful voice. While phasing out requirements to have either college credit, military service, or previous police work, all that's now required is two years work experience. Any work experience will do. Y'all hear that? Any work experience will do. And I'm not so sure about the military experience here. We'll talk about that at, a, at another time. But you know, you you bring that mentality to the streets. And not to say that we don't have some folks that have served this country who would do a good job, but we got to think about what it is to be in war mindset and what it means to be on the streets. Should be a different type of mindset. But there we are. They relaxed all the damn, all the rules. So while the hiring process is more relaxed, at the end of the day, these specific men, these, they murdered Tyree and they are horrible human beings at the end of the day, period. No matter what the training, None, none of that matters. These are terrible human beings. They would be bad men if they were teachers. They would be bad men if they were fast food workers. They would be bad men if they were garbage collectors. They would be terrible human beings even if they weren't cops. That's, that's what this comes down to for me, Jackson. But damn, Memphis. 
Well, you know, you have that. And um, for me, one of the biggest things that stood out about this whole situation is uh, the Scorpion police unit, you know, which basically was created to do exactly what got taken out. They were like a, a task force unit that would come in to, you know, basically stop people to come in to handle situations in a more aggressive way to quote unquote protect the neighborhood. And the biggest issue with an organization like that is the type of people that it's going to attract. Um, you know, cause again, this wasn't just like a, a, a normal police officer group who was just doing his rounds. Like they specifically were for action. You're gonna attract people who are looking for action. They're looking to do things like that, which is why they were enjoying themselves. It's it was horrible. Yeah. yeah, they were, and they were enjoying it. Like they yeah, were bragging they were. about it. So they were, yeah. and now we find out texting the the bloody body of Tyree all out to his colleagues. Uh, we're gonna keep you posted on this.